Good evening and welcome to Tinker Tailor Solder Fry here on the Mighty Loading Ready Run Video Entertainment Network. My name's Ian Horner and, uh, well, if you're watching this uh, not on twitch.tv slash loading ready run, you must be watching this sometime as a VOD at youtube.com slash loading ready live. Uh, hello from the past. It was terrible here. Tonight, we are going to be working on uh, what I have referred to uh, what I'm referring to now as uh, one of the Elder Projects. Uh, Long-time Tinker Tailor fans may recognize a few projects that tend to come up again and again here on the show, such as the Naomi conversion. Uh, the second, we've, we've got a second Naomi uh, that we're trying to bring up to modern spec and get up and running and working. We've got a uh, Sega Dreamcast that I've been taking a lot of time to bring up to the modern era. And of course, we've got uh, this one. The Mark I Flight System from Thrustmaster Incorporated? I don't know if they were actually an incorporated corporation or if they just did business under name. They are a registered trademark, however, and good God. Oh yeah, I've got that H-gate shifter too, which I keep talking about, but I haven't actually done any work on. Uh, this one, though, has received ooh, a good amount of work in the past, and uh, let's get it out here on the table. Like we don't even need the bottom piece. Previous episodes have seen us diving deep into the into said joystick, removing the ADB cable, Apple desktop bus, which uh, uh, eagle-eyed viewers may notice looks a lot like S-Video. It's not. It's, uh, it's Apple's desktop bus. Uh, so we cracked it open a long time ago and we did the mapping necessary. This is probably unviewable thanks to probably how blown out everything is. Let's see. If, aha! Shadows help. Uh, so yeah, we know that uh, the green and the gray wire go to the lower thumb. The green and the purple wire go to the trigger. The green and the white... I get the feeling that the green wire might be the ground. Uh, but... Oh, wow. Yeah, we are getting some drops here. Uh, why is that? Why do drops? Hold on a second. I'm going to go make sure nothing else is running on the other uh, system. You may hear me yell occasionally from the other room. It's okay, though. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Still dropping frames. Well, you know what? Let's get into uh, let's get let's drop drop down to a different camera here to see if that's. I don't know why that's would cause anything to be an issue. We're only we're only using forty percent of the CPU. That shouldn't be causing any issues. Uh, anyway, so yeah, point is we've got uh, we've got our wires, we've got our uh, we've got our joystick. What we need to do now. Oh, jeez, they just keep falling all over the floor, don't they? Tell you what, I'm going to go uh, take this down, uh, see what we can do about maybe making this better, and then we're going to come right back with Tinker Tailor Soldier Fry. Don't go away. Uh, literally, just just don't go away. We're, we're, we're not gone for long. hey -oh. Boop. Hey, friends, we're back. Um... Hopefully our capped uh, bit right here should uh, make things a little bit more compatible with uh, what we're getting at. I'm guessing that uh, Twitch is having some ingest issues right now from uh, from my end here, and I don't know why. Uh, where were we? We were talking about wires and, and, and all that fun. And uh, we were talking about joysticks. Oh, whoa. And that's... Uh, so yeah, here's the board. Uh, you'll get to see that in a second. Uh, so what are we going to do? Well, this thing used Apple Desktop Bus, as I mentioned before, and uh, thankfully the board is put together in such a way that it's not difficult to uh, to dewire the, uh, the pieces necessary. Uh, so I've been looking up for solutions on how to make the USB portion USB. -E. And turns out uh, it took a while. It's, it's a good thing I didn't rush into this particular project and took... Uh, the three years it took to get to this point because I've stumbled upon something that was apparently stopped active development about three years ago. MMJoy2, which is a piece of software for Windows, for configuration, and for uh, Arduino-style microcontrollers that 
makes the setup of, uh, of joysticks extremely easy. So we're going to be using that today. The problem being is that, and uh, let me see if I can put, let's, let's, let's go to the, uh, let's move stuff around, let's go to the, uh, the booth here. Okay, uh, and then let's bring it up. And by it, I mean, let's bring my laptop back up to power because we're having a, uh, we're doing an interesting setup today. All right, let's bring it in because I've got the information necessary right here. That's not it. That's not it. This is it. No, this is it. No. Aha, found it. Now to show you. Bonk. Okay, so for an Arduino Pro Micro, which is uh, the kind of thing we've purchased for this, I got three of them just in case something messed up. Get this out of the way of my face. Uh, you can see that there are uh, a bunch of pins that can be used for the analog stick, a bunch of them that can be used for digital sticks, but not enough for all the buttons on the joystick at once. So what's a boy to do? Well, this boy is about to do something he's never done before, which is create... Uh, no, that's the wrong mouse. Create a key matrix. I can't wait for this. Yeah. <laughs> Dresden multiplexers obviously would be the uh, the the the, the uh, next level choice. We'll probably do that for the next kind. But uh, yeah, got my uh, got my microcontrollers here. Let's make sure that there's the one that I like. I asked the man at the store to send me these ones, and he said that these were in fact the ones that I wanted. Perfect. Okay. That's important. So, uh, let's bring back our, uh, our work surface here. Clunk that out, toss that. <sighs> so I'm, there, there's probably, if I were a smarter person or a more... If I were a person with more time, uh, we could probably reverse engineer this and, uh, and get I mean, we'd probably be able to do just a direct ADB to uh, to USB conversion through something on this one of these microcontrollers, but I'm not. Apple's been weird. Apple has always been weird about its protocols, and ADB is not something I want to study up on. So, what we're looking at here, uh, we've already, as I can see, disconnected the uh, the joystick wires. We've desoldered those from the the board here, and they're hand nicely marked actually. Like this is this is going to be a very easy thing to put back when eventually we want to. But uh, I guess what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by taking a photograph of the uh, the current setup of the wires, so that should I ever need to put this back for posterity's sake, it will be possible to do so. Done. You never forget the rainbow cable, do you, Emilyette? Or Emilyette. Uh, okay, so I guess we start by... We're going to start by desoldering these cables here. Which means I'm going to need to get out my... I was going to say trusty soldering iron, but it is anything but, unfortunately. We've got soldering irons, we've got flux, we've got our cleaner everything we need to get this going oh yes and tonight's beer is critical point from victoria's own category 12 cheers to all you you all you out there in the zone <laughs> yes it is a soldering iron i was in talks with uh some of the people at the company behind this to possibly get it replaced before COVID hit and uh Whoops, we'll have to deal with that later. Sorry, it was actually just before Chinese New Year hit, and then COVID hit after that, or at the same time. I can't remember. All right. So this is our uh, our work surface today is not the table. It's a bamboo cutting board, something that I'm quite happy to... I'm well, not happy to, but it's not something that I'm worried about replacing. Ooh, ooh, that's definitely a wire. 
there we go. That's one out. Two out. This is going... I love the, how well... Like, look at how nice the wires are bent there. This is just... This is so well done. Uh, why do you solder and not clip them close enough to the board to get plenty of length, but to keep the glare colors on the board? Uh, I mean, because then I just end up desoldering it in the future anyway. Um, and you know, I'd like to keep as much of the uh, the ribbon cable as possible. It's probably no reason. It's you could go either way, but that's why I did it. And maybe next time I won't. Maybe next time I'll find a reason for why I'm. Uh, why I didn't want to do it that way. Oh my. Oh no, that's fine. That's just a so hot solder that's coming up. I'm not actually pulling any pads off, which I was a little worried about. But no, just pads of hot solder. Uh oh. Didn't pull that one all the way through. Come on. There we go. Whew. This is coming. <laughs> this is coming apart nicely. Okay, one more there. I'm sure my uh, my holding technique is all wrong, but honestly, we're having fun soldering or desoldering right now and making things. But TBH, I'm actually really quite proud of uh, today's streaming setup with the uh, the mic in the right place for me looking down. Another camera, so I can see y'all while I'm uh, while I'm hard at work here. It doesn't look like I'm staring past you at the camera. Uh, are those solid core or stranded? They appear to be stranded, which is unfortunate. Because I would prefer solid core because then I could breadboard this thing a little bit easier, or maybe even prototype board this a bit easier. But I think, let's try spreading out some of this, uh, this solder on the end here. Oh yeah, these are just nicely tinned, is what happened. Dang! Thrustmaster had some good stuff going on. Good quality workmanship in this company. Back in the uh, mid 90s, I want to say. I know that I purchased this particular uh, set in the early 2000s, and I know that because I. It's actually one of the, the throttle portion was one of the first things I ever, uh, I ever actually purchased on eBay. And I knew that I, so that, I mean, it dates it right there that eBay existed, number one. And number two, uh, I was in university at the time. I had disposable income somehow, or sorry, rather thought I had disposable income. You know, that's, that's the thing about student loans, is you gotta pay them back. So, uh, I guess thanks Jean Chrétien at the time for... My Thrustmaster. <laughs> and honestly, I, I love me some rainbow cables because they're super handy for figuring out what wire goes where all right that's uh that's out well shall we attempt to uh to breadboard this and maybe uh yeah why not let's see if we let's see if we can do this uh do this up prototype style first. Um, that is the feather, which is a Bluetooth prototype board. We don't need that. I'll put you over here for now. Use that uh, for, I think the first year we tried to get the, uh, the desert bus button um, in a, a, a wireless fashion. Okay, this is a Mega 32U4. Good, that's what we're using. Uh, so we already have this in effect. I'm just going to bring out my pinuts here. Because we're going to have to, first of all, flash this thing with a, uh, with a new 
firmware. So I'm actually just going to, uh, what do we got on the side there? Bring out my pinouts. Uh, controller, there we go. So we're looking at, I've got power ground, uh, reset, yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so we have, uh, we have axis. Okay, so maybe we'll use uh, A3 and A, or A1 and A2. You know what, I'm gonna take notes. This is uh, important. I was going to actually, and I am going to plan this out as a matrix as we go along. So let's get a, uh, oh wow. Jairus D&D game, Pewter Hawk City, Terry Goodstuff, Euphemia at the claims office. <laughs> Handy. All right, okay, where's my pen? So let's plan this out here a bit. Uh, we're gonna need a few more analogs. So let's go with, uh, yeah, why not? Uh, A1, so that's actually F4. A1 slash F4, according to, that's apparently how uh, how this software actually checks, uh, refers to that pin. So that's gonna be, let's make that our vertical. Vertical, and that means that A2 slash F4 five will be our horizontal that leaves us with for this one uh was that you notebook using the panelist absolutely not actually wait it might have yes see if you can move your mic to clip to the middle of your shirt no that applies to everyone in every show we do uh so we got one two three four five and then six, seven, eight. Eight buttons we need to take care of here. That's a uh, pinky, trigger, uh, lower thumb, upper thumb, or pickle button is the word, and then the four-way hat switch. So I guess what we're gonna wanna do here is uh, someone's put together some interesting uh, one, some interesting circuit models for these and I've been learning about ah here we go here's one that'll uh that'll make sense let's drop the HDMI there for a second so yeah we're gonna have a hat switch which is four ways there uh and it looks like the hat switch is on a single row so that seems good right yes and that is someone using a, uh, a multiplexer, which are pretty damn cool, but I did not have the time to get that set up uh, or get set up to do multiplexing before this show. And honestly, I think uh, what I'm planning to do is use a, uh, a microcontroller per device. So there'll be one for the joystick and one for the throttle itself. And I think that'll make, that'll make wiring much easier, but it'll also make... Uh, it doesn't make anything harder. Uh, the board we're using is a, uh, what is the name of it? It is an Arduino Pro Micro. So anything with a, God, what is that chip on there again? U something or other, U30. Let me just look at that again. It is an 80 mega 32 U4. Bingo. Okay, so let's get that back in the uh, back on the prototype here, and we're gonna have to solder in the rest of the hole or the rest of the pins on that side. Given I'm gonna probably want to want to use this as a uh, as a prototyper for the, f for the future, I'm gonna just uh, I'm actually gonna solder it up completely. Because whoopsie, no, those break pretty quick easily. Not a problem because. The solder will hold them in place. But let's get that out. Only to push it back in again. Turns out that 
these prototyping boards are very nice for holding pins in place when you want to solder them. So let's get that uh, just nicely put together there. Get out our flux, uh, and then we'll finish off with writing up our planning. No, you know what? Let's finish the planning first. God damn it, Ian. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, A2 and A... Uh, those two, and then button matrix the rest of them down there. So for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons, we'll need a three by three. I mean, we could probably get by with a three by three grid, to be honest. Why? Yeah. Why go any farther than that? Three by three. Uh, in the pipe, as it were. So we need trigger, we need pinky, we need thumb, we need, and then we need down, up, left, and right. <sighs> I wonder, is it better off doing a 4x4 grid and just leaving some things open? Now it's probably... I, I've never actually done this before. That's why I'm, I'm thinking out loud to myself on this one. Uh, let's do three by three. Why not? Okay, so that means that uh, to grid this up as a matrix, let's go back and have a look at someone else's work and work with them. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, let's bring up... Oh, head to me again. Boop, boop. So... We're going to want uh, column one. Actually, wait, we want to use one of these uh, that shows up. There we go. Button rows. OK, the rows and button columns on the digitals. So we'll need. We'll need all of this, I think. Oops. Yeah, if we're going to do three by three, we'll need a uh, six total. So we currently have, uh, oop. I want to know what's available rather than. So we've got A1, A2. Those are good, and then we can go, oh, A3 is what I, whoops, A3, okay, A2, A1, and then, what do those say? No, get, get, get bigger, bigger for me, thank you. Uh, A1 and A0, so let's go, A1, A0, and then BM, BM, BM. Perfect. Okay, we can go all along just the one side. We don't actually have to do the other side yet. We should be good. Okay, so we're looking at uh, got F4 and F5. So it's F6, F7, B1, B3, B2, B6. So, how to do this? Um... I'm not, am I misthinking this? Okay, so row one goes through. I, I really should just not use that particular image. Okay, there we go. So we need uh, trigger, pink, key, and thumb. Wait, thumb, thumb, thumb two, right? Pickle. By, so there is actually more than that. Uh, we need eight. Yeah, funky Abigail. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm into checking this out. 
Uh, so we have pickle. Funny you should have ever seen. Eight is two, four, three is nine. So three by three. So we're going to go with a trigger pinky and fun pickle up down right left up okay so now we've got uh, rows and columns that's a good start that's a good start okay let's save the thinking for later now let's do some action which means getting back the soldering iron Bleep bloop. Oh, wow. Is it still dropping frames? Occasionally, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, get that soldering iron back up to heat. Uh, and where is my solder? And most importantly, my flux. Let's get you painted up. open okay you know we're just gonna put we're just gonna solder all the pins in because why not it's good to have a prototyping board that's all set up and all connected okay, we'll do that one side first are you warm enough yet heating now you're heating Nice thing about this set of pin names for all these pro micro clones is that there's always so many to choose from. Yep. <laughs> and then of course, what did the uh, what did the programmer decide to call them in the uh, in the software? Okay. Oh god, I love this setup. You can see everything I'm doing, and you can see me getting really close to you. <laughs> all right, we have to heat yet. Three hundred looks good. One in I was describing to someone earlier today the uh, they were getting into SMD soldering and they uh, they were asking if you know anyone had any tips or tricks and of course the number one thing that came up amongst all the people in the uh, the slack was flux 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 I thought you should probably consider also into a fume extractor unless you want to try the the sniper trick of exhaling while you're actually doing all of your soldering so that you don't breathe in any of the fumes. That's why I'm talking <laughs> while doing this for the same reason. But yeah, it's, that's uh, what I was taught back doing target practice. Exhale as you very slowly squeeze that trigger. And that will... That will steady the hand. The exhaling here, though, is mainly for the uh, the process of not breathing in lead fume, lead and uh, flux, flux fumes, the rosin, and the badness. <laughs> yeah, yep. Couldn't pick a username. I have not done much SMD soldering, but the little that I had to do. And I never want to do again, if, if at all possible. But that was the, uh, that was the... Uh-oh. I have misaligned those pins. Good thing I haven't done much yet. Oh my god. What are you doing, Ian? Why, why, why you do that? Do it like that. <laughs> god, that's, that's ugly as sin. Fix it now. Before anyone else sees. Jeez. Louise. Okay, that's one. Let's try that again, shall we? Doesn't need to be all the way in this time. Just needs to be enough. 
to hold it in place. But straight. Yeah, something seemed off and I wasn't sure why. And well, now we know. Now we know. That seems a lot straighter now. Perfect. If you're stand soldering standard 5mm L LEDs, you can use the Lego to hold them in place while soldering. God damn, that's a good point. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, 50 pin surface mount processor sounds. Uh, does not sound like a lot of fun. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure it was fun when you, uh, when you actually got to build it. Ooh, I haven't flexed this side. That's why it sucks so hard. Yeah, hot air reworking is definitely if I ever have if I ever have to start doing a lot more uh, surface mount stuff, I can definitely see myself uh, going down to the actually not even going down to the uh, so I was in Princess Auto the other day and they had what they called a shop stove, which was literally just a uh, a, a, a cheap Chinese built uh, toaster oven. That they that they're they're marketing as a shop oven. I'm guessing for, uh, for for solder reflow or things like that. So I'll just go down and pick up one of those and then hack it into a uh, into a reflow oven. Probably with more microcontrollers. so easily when you properly prepare your work surface. Ooh, nope. Definitely smelled that. I bust up there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I can see uh, a professional or purpose-built hot air rework station being uh, kind of the equivalent of going to a, uh, getting into resin printing after doing FDM 3D printing for so long. Uh, would it, having a small desk fan help to ventilate the air? Yes, but it would ruin the, uh, the acoustics. Actually, I've got my kitchen window open and my living room window open, so and my office window open. So there's plenty of airflow here. Just got to keep myself... Got, just got to remember to not directly breathe the fumes in. Okay, that's sealed up. Uh, I guess at this point, what we want to do is we're probably going to want to flash this uh, this hardware. So let's, uh, let's do that. So the tutorial, which you should always read and follow, always follow the tutorial to the letter, never deviating, because then you'll never build anything yourself and never learn how anything works. Kidding. Do read the instructions, but don't always rely on the instructions. And don't always listen to Ian. I just have a TV show, that's all. It's not even a TV show, it's just on the internet. And I'm very glad that all of you are here. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we need to make sure that we've got the reset and the ground pins. Beep boop. Those are, uh, we're going to tap those together to get this thing into apparently programming mode. Uh, what am I observing here? Oh, wow. That's the, that's the Lego method. That is really cool. Uh, so what was I saying about that? reset mode. I need a micro USB cable, which I don't have here. Wait, wait, do I? Nope, that's USB to serial. That's not going to help anyone. Ah, okay, be right back. Just need to grab a cable. Speed has kind of become the uh, 
God, the 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 power the power supply cable of the uh, of the twenty tens. They're everywhere, and I cannot wait for them to go away. Micro USB and especially uh, mini USB, worst. Okay. So, uh, Nox Invictus, a lot of solder is not lead-free. Uh, a, a majority of corporations try to do it because it looks better on, uh, on the we're doing things for the environment sheet. And, uh, and it is just actually a good idea to not use lead solder. Uh, I use it because I, I am currently using lead solder and I use it because it's easier to work with and I don't do that much work with it. So I guess just uh, if you need to be the executor of my state, um, have a hazmat team ready? That does, that's not right. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, that's too big. Make smaller. Okay. So driver installation. Download the firmware archive and unzip it. Blah, blah, blah. Connect the board to USB port and windows and it will detect new hardware as Arduino Leonardo comms or just USB serial device under comms and ports. And it's most likely to offer to install the driver. If it doesn't, use control panel, device manager, choose your board and right click the unrecognized device and choose update driver. Browse my computer for the driver software. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's open up the device manager and see what we got. Do -do 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 -do. Nope, that's no device manager. Let's bring you guys along for the ride here, because uh, you folks. Okay. Maybe I should move myself to the other corner there. Uh, da, 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 da. And that's going to be in other ports, right? Ports. Ports, 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 we know? The device is working properly. We got it. We're good. We're good. Com 8. Good. Okay. Updating the firmware. Switch to service mode. Compatibility boards work in two modes. Operational for day-to-day use and service mode for firmware updates. When you switch the board into service mode, it'll be active for eight seconds, then the board will switch to operational mode automatically. Turn service mode on. We must perform the following actions. Briefly, reset ground and reset pins. Hey, look at that. I've got them ready to go. Uh, Vice Pro Micro Com XX. Okay. So. Let's short them. Let's find out what we get. Boop. Ah! Aha, COM7 is where we're going to find our friend. So, uh, once we've got the COM, open up the Joy Setup Program and go to the Firmware tab. Let's do that now. Here's a program I opened earlier. It's not the right one. Yes, and you'll find that this program is extremely Russian. Uh, and Joy Setup, yes, please. Do whatever you will with my computer. Uh, go to that's firmware tab. Okay. And uh ba 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 ba. I'm looking for 18 mega. Yep, Arduino. And what did I say? Com7? Com7 sounds right. Okay, and next up. Select the firmware file. Select the chip, select the loader type, Arduino, COM number. Hmm. Okay, and that is MMJoy 2 AT Mega 32U4X. Auto start upload when current COM part becomes available. Well, let's. Let's make this happen then. Boop. Did it work? I don't know. Maybe this needs to be in. Uh... Uh, 
Well, let's find out. What does it say after we've done it? Now it is time to press the upload bu firmware button. If everything is successful on time, a console will be displayed along the firmware update process. Uh, MMJoy2. Okay, so it'll be in human interface devices in the in this here human interface devices. What do we got? We have hid interface compliant game controller, but that's we had that before. Uh, do we have any information? Further information. Congratulations, you're done. That, hmm, hmm. Well, we'll find out soon enough here. Uh, choice to Gaxies. Firmware? Okay. So let's see. Com. Yeah, I'm unsure if we're uh USB D view. USB video device. USB composite device. Okay, it all looks good, I guess. Well I guess we'll uh we'll find out. Won't we? Let's start by uh Oh, wait a second. No, wait, that was the thing. That was the, the checking. Okay, I guess what we'll do next here is we'll uh, we'll try to build a, a push-button circuit for this, this little friend here. And we'll see if we've got it working correctly. Uh, where's my drink? Ooh, or let's try actually doing the analog uh, portion here. Foist. Which means we're going to want uh, these three. Green is the common ground. So let's uh, have a look at one of those again. And we were going to connect. Uh, so we're going to need something from that goes to ground. Oh, that can be our ground level. Sure, why not? Uh, and then I'm actually just going to move this over here, so we've got more room to play on the uh, on the pins. Whoop, 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 whoop. Get in. All right. So ground is there. Uh, we're just going to make ground 15 because I want this to be easy on myself. Uh, and then we're going to plug, which, that's the wrong one, center, so green is ground, and, uh, center, okay, the outside is going to be voltage, so that's the orange, and the orange is also common, perfect! It's orange and green. Let's go ahead here and let's get uh, orange plugged in there. Hopefully this will work. And be uh, usable. Uh, green and then yellow. Sure, why not? Let's just p plug them all in a, in a row. Green. Come on. So wait, which one was our ground again? Oh, I should be able to tell off. No, I might not be able to tell off the board. Or maybe I can. No, because my color is gone. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go with orange, yellow, and green for this one. And let's call orange... Ground, green, five volt, and yellow will be our middle. Orange. Yellow and green. Please enter your holes respectively. 
Okay. That's one of them. Um, hopefully this is going to make a connection. Actually, you know what? There's a way I can test that this is making a connection. Because that's, uh, if I'd rather not troubleshoot too many things at once. Let's get out of the multimeter. This table is becoming rapidly full of stuff. Let me tell you what. Common. And looks like you're going to be... That's the one. For continuity. My favorite tester. Good. Okay. So let's go to orange. Just take it off that pin. Perfect. Uh, yellow. Are you seated in the board? Get in there. Get in. Yellow is, has continuity, and finally green has continuity. Perfect. All right. We're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, etc. Don't move these. Okay. So let's get out our jumper wires. Jumper. So many because I forgot where I put this bag. I put this bag of jumpers in the joystick box. You're like, well, where did they where did they go for? Sorry about that, Knox. Uh yeah. So what kind of stuff is this joystick used for anyway? I missed explanations earlier. Uh I originally started this project because I wanted well, I knew that a little game called Dead Stick was coming, which is a uh, a bush pilot game, which I'm very excited for. Uh, yellow and green, just because I... Or yellow and blue. Yellow. I don't want blue. So I was originally doing, uh, doing the joystick conversion so that I could uh, have a joystick and throttle to play this bush pilot game with. Uh, unfortunately, turns out that that game is in kind of a development hell, which is fine. The game will come out when it come out, comes out. It's a independent studio, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. However, Star Wars Squadrons is scheduled to come out uh, at the end of the September or sometime in, in that quarter of this year. And that is being produced by EA, which means that they will sacrifice human life or, uh, <laughs> or at least the well-being of employees in order to, uh, or until current uh, situations change, to, uh, to make sure this game comes out on time. And I definitely want to play it. I want to play it with a throttle and a stick and I have these throttles and sticks and by god i will use them so we are going to now connect to uh the ground and the power so let's go ground which is if i recall why did i get yellow yellow green blue orange i want my colors to match damn it because it looks nicer there so hopefully that gives uh, gives some reasoning for why I'm now uh, working on this. Because I think the last game I played this with this was A10 Attack for the Macintosh operating system. Uh, ground we're going to pretend is, as we said, orange. Five volts. Come to come. VCC is going to be blue. So that's going to go to you, green. And that means yellow is going to be our assistance color. And we said we were going to put that on A3, which is our th analog pin there. Okay. Now let's get back to DAS software. So we'll uh, put that away. Let's bring up too many mice too close to each other all the time. Here we go. Plug that in. Okay. And now we go back to the joystick axes. 
So let's say source is a, oh no. I might need to read what these things are. MCU port. Doesn't happen until then. Uh, value row, value processed, channel, precision, special function? Nope. Okay, well, I mean, let's, uh, virtual? <sighs> Int sensor. Okay, and that's where we get to choose our, uh, Plug. So we're going to, uh, that is the vertical axis. So we're going to go that to A3. Channel, no channel necessary. Okay. I don't know. I should have done more. <laughs> really. Okay, cool. So we got Arduino Micro, and that's... I mean, that's not showing anything yet because, of course, it's not showing anything because we haven't uploaded any firmware that's uh, that's working, right? Right. I think that's how it works. Let's have a look. Let's go back to the tutorial section. Congratulations. Okay, well, that's, that's all nice and good. Uh, connecting inputs. Cool. Input types. Buttons or axes. Power axes, ground. Okay, or a hall sensor. Well, that's fine. Connecting the axes. Uh, ooh. You ever want to con Ah, so we're not actually uh, doing anything in terms of analog to digital. That's good. Single button connection. That's... Well, no, that's... Mixing shift register is super cool. Uh, okay, here we go. That's the information. Mandatory stuff. Source. In source drop down, you have virtual. Okay, emulate access with changes by buttons. Nope, not doing that. Int sensor. That's what we're using. Perfect. Chose that correctly. Uh, MCU port. For analog source, you have to define the pin. Yep, did that. Good. Right? Right? I did that. MCU source. Yes, correct. Uh, channel. In case you have a multi-channel to the digital sensor. Nope, don't have that. Value raw. If your access was defined correctly after you write the settings of the device in this field, you'll see raw values. Okay. Well. Uh, save sets to file. No assignment for access one. Uh, uh, thrust master. Uh, save sets. No assignment at axis number one. What am I missing? Oh, assignment. That's what I'm missing. Escape. Assignment would be Y axis. Ha <laughs> ha. Save sets to file. Rustmaster. Oh, hello. Fanboy of Bullis. Welcome to the show. Oh, let's uh, write this out, shall we? Uh, I guess I just need to bridge those two now. Ground and ro and uh, power again. So... Wait, no, reset and power. That's what I need to bridge. Er, get in there. Come on. You can fit. I know you can. And let's just ground that out. Boop. I think that worked. Oh, our first flashed attempt failed with a no such file or directory on the hex file? Oopsie. Well, that, that would explain why it's not actually working. Uh, firmware. So, firmware. Yeah. 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 Okay. 18 mega U. Okay, let's try this again. Auto start firmware. Ground. Boop. 
There we go. That's how it looks like it's supposed to go. Uh, and then we just go back to joystick axes, I guess? No, that doesn't seem to be uh, occurring now. Direct input viewer. Nothing there, but that's keyboard, right? Windows, MMJ reset, okay. So I guess we have to reset it now. Okay, seems to be back online. Okay, not getting any information, but I am seeing a used access zero. Hmm. Now, why could that be? Calibrate helper. Yes. Uh, set center. Okay, it's not seeing anything there. Is perhaps... Does it matter that the... Uh, does it matter that it's that it might be backwards? Let's uh, let's change that back, uh, and let's just swap the uh, the voltage and the the ground on that. Hmm. It is the orange and the green, right? Or orange and yellow? Yes, those are the ones I'm using. Okay. Blue still remains that. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I need to reset this again. Does that mean it's in programming mode or does that mean it's just regular mode? Okay, it does come back like that afterwards. Oh, okay, Windows joystick. What do you see with your... Your game controller is not working connected correctly. Interesting. Why is that? Why is that precious? What do we got in our device manager right now? Do we have the... Uh, okay, we've got some things in there. Do we have to save sets to device? I thought we did, but maybe we didn't. Oh, save sets to file. Okay. Ah, yes, yes. I see what you're talking about. Update USB list. Aha. Click on the thing. Save sets to file. Now it's happening. Now it's happening. Okay. Well, something happened. We're getting a raw value now. Let's, uh, let's swap it back. Boop, boop. Because I might have just had it incorrect there. Uh, and then let's reset the thing. Reset to ground. Thank you all. <laughs> okay, good. It does recognize that it is MM Joy, so that's important. Okay, and our value row now is zero, which feels like it should be correct. That should be correct. Uh, what if we calibrate our helper? Set center. Hmm. No, that doesn't appear to be helping at all. Ooh. SPI and IC2 over Teensy2. Woohoo, that's an interesting. That's going to be an interesting one. All right. Don't need to channel. channel. So let's go back to here. Uh, channel, no, don't have value raw. After writing this value, you will see the raw values received in the sensors. Values processed. Okay. Precision, filter, no auto calibration.
باشیم اوکی اوتو کلیبریشن شد بی آن یس اوتو ویت سنسر سنتر اوکی سیف 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 فایل لیتس کال دات اگین اور رست نه And save sets to device. Okay, it's restarting. It is back. Aha! Uh -huh. I see a value processed. Hmm. Is Windows joysticks now showing anything? Oh, okay, so the y-axis exists, but now it just doesn't show me anything. What, what am I getting on the multimeter right now in terms of resistance on that pot? Because I should be getting something, right? Uh, so we're looking at resistance. Uh, it's going to be probably tiny amounts of resistance. Let's, let's see you, joystick. see the side of it 295 800 something something ROC I need more I need more more image uh, 301 uh, this is less than pleasant <laughs> How about you? Can I read you? No, I can't. Well, okay, you know what? We'll just, uh, we'll just see what we're getting out of those pots here uh, manually. So I've got voltage going from, uh, we want from that to, ground right yes so from a3 to the ground oh no we don't want resistance we want voltage voltage right yes i think or no resistance that's right that's what i want uh, so that's going to be, let's start with 200 and let's see what we get from, so yellow to, oops, that's not the one I'm working with. Let's use the one I'm working with. Uh, okay, 175 is what I had. Okay, that's giving me resistance. Let's try, let's see what I'm getting voltage-wise just from the bridge, the bridge position. Okay, minus one, that's too much. Right, because it's gonna be five, isn't it? At least it should be five. Or close to five, okay. So we're getting two volts there. Hold these in place. I need to get some LRE to clips is what I need to do. Okay. So I am getting resistance and changes in and changes in voltage between the orange and the uh, the yellow. And it jumps. Yep, goes closer to. Five, and then down, and then up. Okay. Huh. Interesting. DC voltage. So that so that was my question was, 
are the pots still okay and the pots appear to be okay so that tells me that a3 definitely is that and the analog three now is there continuity between those two what do i get off the uh what do i get off the board is that pin and i believe orange with the little orange with ground okay good okay so there looking can i hold them in place will i bend things Mm -hmm. push in there and then push in and then push against the ground pin Does that give me yep okay good that gives me something oops ground's gone now ground's back okay that is adjusting things so we should be getting things into the Arduino now. So why is it not doing that? Are the pots standard 10k ohm? Probably. Probably. I don't know. I can't actually see them. I can't get them out very easily either. But uh, uh, yeah. Too hard to see there. Huh. Value row channel no that's not precision inversion filter calibration min calibration max oh okay max let's what's the uh max two five five let's hmm measure the resistance of max wipe you probably get uh 9.8 okay yeah, we could we could check it out let's see here resistance i'll use the uh the other side for this These are unfortunate to try and push the right way all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I do have the right connection there. Hmm. See if I can get away with this. I can. Good. Oh, is that working or not? wonder if these uh these pots can't be too old that can't be it ah regardless this should be an easier fix so let's have a look back at the uh the information joystick 
axis. No, no special there. Hmm. Oh, it's not plugged in. Well, that one might that would definitely help some of the issues. But let's see. Okay, it's still connected to A3. Yeah. Hmm. Joystick axes special functions. What do you got for me here? You've got no information. PKB joystick tester. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's no good. Jerusalem, this is a uh, this is a Thrustmaster flight Mark uh, Mark One flight control system for Apple Macintosh. Hmm. Well, actually, here's a here's a good way of testing this to see if we are even getting anything on it. Um, let's short it out. Looks like just take one of those and go straight to ground and see if that changes anything. Uh, 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 ground. Okay, so you'd think that this would be, uh, that if this were correct, working correctly, we would see, uh, I mean, yeah, let's take that out there and put that on its own thing. Okay. So I don't think that this is actually uh, pulling at this point. Oh, wait, I did the wrong. I should have done it with this one. Oop, no, not changing, and no change. Because you'd think it should go directly to one if you're shorting this out, but it's not. So, uh, why does that box on the right say used axes zero? Where am I at here? DZ, DZ center, DZ center, pull. Ah, ah, used axis zero, button zero. Well, that, that just might be uh, part of the problem, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, used axis, there we go. Uh, let's just restart it now, just one more time. And it's back up, we're connected. Used axis, okay, now let's try shorting that again. Uh, so short, 511 is value process still, 511 is value process still. So I don't think it's actually seeing things on uh, the way it's supposed to here. I mean, let's try, uh, let's set up another axis on uh, A, we're going to do our vertical on A2, right? It's internal sensor, it's another int sensor. And it's, this one is on A2, F5. Okay. And the other thing we had to do with that was connect it to its own axis, which is going to be the X axis. Uh, auto sensor. I mean, let's just leave that, let's leave that blank. Uh, save, set the files. Do I have a spare 10k, 10k home pot? I don't know that I do. Oh, 10k. I'm missing the k. That might be one of the reasons why I'm, uh, not getting a, an answer from that. We will save, uh, and then we will, hello, save sets to device. Oh, 
Okay, let's do E2. And let's bridge that right with uh, value now. So if it goes to ground. No, nothing there. But it shouldn't. But if we give it the voltage. Huh. It's not looking there. Wait a second, and then sensor clock. Do I need to have the clock set up for this? That sounds like it might be the case. Clock. Oop, no. Oops, control tab. Okay. It doesn't look like we need a clock there. Uh, software setup. Connecting inputs. Let's let's read through. Power axis ground. Yep. Connecting the axes. Uh, is there anything that needs to be done there, especially? Two pins potentially at center connected to power and ground. Center pin goes to the axis pin. See the board locations. Uh, please note you can get your access to a pin that has AI access internal mark on it if you want to increase the precision. Inter yeah, okay, we did that already. And then that's all fine. Mm hmm. Increase special functions, link areas, tracks, statistic axes. Just. Mm -hmm. Do the response. Okay, what about software now? What am I doing wrong in software? Unless that was the software page, in which case, software setup. Define input pins. Okay, int sensor, do the sensor, X, precision, filter. They don't have anything for their clock. Source, MCU port, channel. Assignment. Aha. Huh. Yeah, I guess it looks like everything is correct. Uh, link errors. Do we have any link errors? We do not have any link errors, I think. Hmm. So why is this? Joystick axes, special functions, nothing necessary there. Firmware is it is you know what? Let's let's try some joystick buttons. Uh, <laughs> here's where it gets good. Uh, with our various directions and whatnot. Oh my, I have, I have spent some time here, haven't I? Okay, you know what? Let's worry about the analog later. Let's think about our digital today for a bit. And we'll, we'll look into that later. Now we're going to need to set up our matrix for the buttons. Uh, so let's start with the well, let's let's get the this uh, button matrix plugged in. Uh, so, gray and white. What were you for? Green and gray is lower thumb, and white is pinky. So, we'll get those in the end. I think we're going to start with the. Uh, we're going to start with green, which is going to be our ground. Actually, you know what? I'm going to plug that into the uh, the ground strip up here. Because 
why not do that? Okay, green is in ground forever. Uh, and then we need... Whew, how do we do this here? Now we need to look at information about how to build a key matrix. So, let's bring you guys back to the, uh, the land of the physical. Okay. So, row one and column one. The rows... Oh, that's right. That's not the right kind of picture for me to look at. <laughs> I need a... Okay, here we go. Tx and Rx and G. Okay, so this is this is where we uh, don't need a ground. We don't need ground. We just need. Well, we do need common ground for these, but it's based on a row. So there's gonna be. Oh no. Oh, no. This is okay. I think. Because we can run the ground. Like, basically, we're looking at a matrix, then, that's not a matrix at all. <laughs> Which is unhelpful. Damn it. Damn it. I knew there was a problem with this here. Uh, well, let's see if we can just make a, a matrix for one of these, then. Should we? Yeah, you should not need an explicit ground in the key matrix. The IO pins provide the grid. Because it's a grid. It's not a... Uh... Yeah, in fact, we can... Uh... We can write it out here, actually. So, let's say we're going to, uh, we're using our pins. Let's start at the bottom. Uh, and let's make sure I've got my, my list of pins up here, because they're all available for the button matrix. Okay, so let's use, we'll use pin nine which is B5 for, we'll use this for our rows and this for our columns. So column one is going to be seven, or D7, is it? Six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll use six, because we're doing a three by three grid, right? E6, which is pin seven. Let's pull this out because we're gonna need more space. Now, we need even on both sides, I think. Or close to. Okay, so B7. Or not B7, we're going to call that, uh, yeah, 7. Slash E6. Uh, and then we're going to do 8 slash e b4 and then we're going to do pin 9 and that's going to be b5 okay and then our columns will be uh, b3 uh, 14 b3 14 slash B3, uh, 15, 16, 10, I guess that is 10, yeah, 16, wait, yeah, 14, 16, slash B2, and 10, B6. Okay, so we've got our uh, we've got our matrix set up here. So that means we need to start wiring this up. Trigger! Trigger is uh, purple and 
God, am I going to have to rewire this with, with a, uh, a different set of grounds out? I think I might actually have to. Because I think these were probably multiplexed on their own. Do I have a big in electrical engineering? I don't think I... I, I, I at most have a medium. Probably a zero. A, a very extra small. Child size. I have a child size in engineering. Despite having actually gone to school for engineering for a year. <laughs> Where are we going here? Green. Well, we're going to need green. And trigger is purple. Okay. Well... I'm just going to plug these all down here, and then we can jumper it. That seems like a great idea, doesn't it? Get in. Every one of you, get in your own individual holes. They're made for you. I mean, not specifically for you, but they are made for things like you. I think that kind of ruins the spirit of... That Junji Ito comic, but it'll be fine. No one will notice. Everyone will have a really good time. Right? Right. Get in there, purple. Get in your hole. Ah! Don't want to use that tool. Purple. I'm going to have to ask you one more time to kindly enter your zone. Same with you, orange. Okay. Uh, orange, why you got to do me like this? Okay, orange, let's get you pointed in the right direction. Is it because of the big bob of solder I left on the end of you, Orange? Well, maybe you'll work. Let's let's see if you're you're good enough. Maybe purple will take the hint from you too. Which it probably is because of the big blob of solder on you. Uh, continuity. Bleep, warp. Okay. Orange goes there. Good. Orange is good. Purple is good. Don't matter none. <clears throat> now, where was I going with this? Right. Matrices. Matrices, matrices, matrices. So, green is our... Let's start with the trigger. Green and purple. So, you need to go from row to column, correct? Or am I? Uh, so, it comes out of the row and then goes back to the column. So, from row to column. I don't know if that actually matters, but... We're just going to uh, just gonna make it happen. So from row to column, and then there's a resistor in there. Okay, so we're gonna come from. I believe we said it was E six slash pin seven. So from there to our trigger, which is uh, on row 50. Wait, that's uh, trigger is purple. Purple is purple. Okay. So from there to there. And then out of there, hold on, am I doing this right? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Oh, XR. Uh, yes, it is. Well, you know what? I, I, it is going to be mul the, the intention was to dial multiplex this thing, <laughs> but uh, hmm. Yeah, this is this is the first time I've ever built one of these things, so I'm very curious. I'm very interested to make this work on my own. Uh, okay, so just thinking correctly, comes out goes uh, from there to the switch. Okay, so it's going to the switch, which, which then needs to bridge from the switch to the ground. I don't think I can do that the way this is wired now that I think about it. Yeah, I know that I, I, I don't need, uh, I, I know I can do it without the diodes if I don't need key rollover. The problem is I'm pretty sure I'm going to be holding on the trigger while also hitting other buttons, which mean, or, or, or hitting the hat switch while also hitting other buttons. So I think there's going to need to be some rollover. And I am worried about ghosting. But correct me if I'm wrong in saying right, because it's not. It's a common ground. So as long as everything's... resistive on the common ground, then I should, then we could be able to... we could make this work with just a single row. <laughs> as long as we have enough inputs, which I think we do, actually. So, uh, directionality of resistors is the... Uh, that goes on the out. So it's coming from seven out to the back end of the switch. Switch goes through okay. from there to ground. No, not to ground. That goes then to hold up. Ugh. Yeah, Drow, since I think you're right. I actually don't think I need a uh, to multiplex it on this, especially not for this many buttons. So why don't we uh, attempt to do that without that? In which case, this uh, matrix is unnecessary. Oh, but it's still on a common ground, which is not a problem anymore, right? Right, because we've got a common ground. So I'll take that back to the ground. And then let's go into uh, MMJoy. Check the joystick buttons. Uh, so we got uh, rows. We're just going to have one big row, right? Right. Uh, row is on pin 7, which was E6, correct? E, that's F. Ah, ah, no. Ah, no. Stop it. Bad mouse. E6, correct? Correct. And that interfaces... Oh, do I have to use matrices for these? I wonder. Buttons equal row x columns. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the column for that is probably going to be, uh, you know, let's call that. B3. Let's just do it. Because we have enough we have enough there to do that. Uh, 
Is it common ground or common source? Uh, the green cable? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I didn't actually uh, check that. Let's see if I can figure out based on the traces. Green was, which one was that? Let me look back at my reference photo. Green, uh, recent picture, getting close. Green was position J23. A23, which if I trace that goes to that pin, goes to. It's a big thick wire, so that means it could be anything. Hmm. I mean, we could make it either, any direction, right? Like I remember when I was when, when I was uh, mapping out all these buttons, green was the common wire of it was a common something. So we could make it a common uh, ground or a common uh, source, but uh, we don't. Uh, I don't know if I have the option here for that. I think this might actually just want me to put everything in a fucking matrix. <laughs> uh, in which case, let's. Uh, Let's see about doing that. Okay, and then that goes to, uh, what do we say it was, B3? B3, which was pin 14. Okay, and that should... Hmm. Oh right, it's not going to say it's not going to do that because it's not uh, <laughs> it's not seeing it yet. One. Okay. Joystick. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Save sets to device. What do you got with me? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's just make sure that those are actually working the way that they're supposed to, or the way that I thought they were. Purple and green. Trigger. Green. Purple. Okay, that does bridge. So purple and green. Go back there, and that should be uh, that should be working, unless it's Windows joysticks. What do you see? You don't even see the buttons yet. Uh, why is that? Why is that? Uh, do I need to set? Oh wait, I should just go back and actually read the device of how I'm supposed to do this. Okay, button options. Galaxy of button options. Choose. There are two options for buttons. You can make a matrix or a shift registered. Okay, so we're definitely going to do matrix if we don't have shift registers. Okay, if you've done it correctly, E6 and B3, E6, which is pin 7, correct? E6, pin 7, yeah, goes to one of those, purple, and the other one is the green, and that goes to 14, B3, hmm. Your button sets. 
Oh, auto bind active button. Well, it doesn't see the buttons, does it? Hmm. Encoders, choose your source. Okay, did that. Let's go to one by one. Saved sets the device. Hardware buttons will respond to your buttons by lighting up in red. I only got the one. And it's not even, even if I actually just straight up bridge those, that's not giving me the, uh, Huh, it's not giving me what I want. So that leads me to wonder if I'm doing something completely wrong with this. Uh, if I'm using this Arduino wrong. Update list. Yeah, okay. E6. Let's make sure, double, ch triple check. E6 is pin 7. Yes. Am I using these, this prototype board correctly even? Is that my problem? Okay, so I am using the board correctly. Uh, green and purple. Yeah, don't need a, a, a pull-down resistor for me. Aha! There we go! We got it! We got it! Aha! We're in! Okay. Uh, do we have enough to... Do we have enough pins to do this without a matrix? Because if we can, that's that makes it super easy, and I don't need to build anything, uh, anything more than what we've got. And I can just solder things directly into it. Uh, we are going to need... So, for every button, we're going to need two pins, plus we're going to need the analogs. So that means, um, it's a trig. We are doing, uh, button matrix, button matrix, button matrix, button matrix, button matrix, button matrix, four. That's four. Oh yeah, we have all the pins we need. Absolutely, we have all the pins, pins we need. We could finish this up, uh, tonight if we wanted to try, if we... I think we can. Okay, let's uh, let's think about this. Can we do multi that way? So um, I'm looking at the let's go to green, and let's go back to let's put you away. Uh, let's try, because that needs to be ground, B8, and which one's the blue? Blue is the thumb? Yep, yeah, thumb, that's the pickle. Okay, blue is pickle. So let's put that on pin 10, then. Pin 10 and pin 8. Um, pin 10 and pin 8. Okay, so we got a row column here. Uh, pin 10 is... B6. And I mean, let's just do nine too, just to make it easier on ourselves. B5. Cool. Save sets to device. What do we got? Okay.
Hmm. Well, now it doesn't work, but I think that's because it expects a, uh, an actual proper matrix to be in effect. But what if, for a joke, we did the thing uh, and we just had a... What if we just did oops all rows? I think we can make that work, right? Yeah. Oops all rows. So for that, we'd be looking at uh, B3 is our return column, which is seven, right? We put that back all there already. Uh, oopsie, did I F that up? I think I did. Ah, these are, you need a two by two, shouldn't, shouldn't you only need a one by six? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking with the green being the one column. That's exactly what I'm thinking because the green is the common. So let's make this easy on ourselves. And uh, what is our column for ground? What do we want that to be for the common? Let's make our common D3. Uh, no, you know what? Let's make it, uh, what's the D1? D1 is our common ground, which is in fact also the one just after the second round, pin two. So we're gonna say uh, it's gonna be one, one by, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight column. Uh, and then we're looking at, so the column is going to be, call will be pin two slash D one. And then that means we can just set the buttons to the rest of them. So let's do that now. So column D1. And then let's just run the uh, run the jewels from there. Uh, we're going to be doing, what do we want to do? We'll, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just use F4, five, six, seven, D1, two, three, six. So we're going to say the trigger is uh, a three slash. Let us bring you guys back here for the, while I'm talking about this. A3, uh, F4. Actually, I'm just going to cross that out. Pinky, uh, pickle button will be. A two F five, F five. We're gonna bring those back. Uh, thumbstick will be F four F five F six. Good. Thumbstick will be F six A one. And pinky will be a zero F seven. And then down right will be one, three, two, six. Uh, B one, B three, B two, B six, which are all, let's move that out of the way so you can see me writing. Oop. Uh, B1 is 15, 15, uh, 14, 16, and 10. Love the numbering. Love the numbering. Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Exarch for uh, giving the translation there. 
Herman. Okay, so. That means column goes to the green. Good. Next up, brown to brown. Going to brown town. And the brown was our, got so many reference notes, left, which is B2 pin 16. 16. Okay, good. Next uh, was going to be uh, right, red, which is not currently outside of the thing. <laughs> Exarch, that is exactly what I ended up reading. Uh, that is exactly the explanation I ended up reading recently, too. It was just such a good, uh, such a good site that was like hit a pickle. Uh, so the red one was going to, again, because the red was, red is up, and up is B3, and that is pin 16. That's not right. Red, once again, red up, up, B3, pin 14. There we go. That's our problem. Oh, this is going to be a rat's nest, friends. Uh, next one is orange. And orange is a right. So we're going to put that on there. And right is B6, pin 10. Pin 10. Last pin on that side. Next up, we've got yellow. 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 And we'll just take the green out for the moment. Put the yellow in. Put that green back. Uh, and yellow was our down. Down is B1, pin 15. And that's the last one on that side, if I remember correctly. Okay, good. Next is uh, blue. Blue is... Our friend, I mean, they're all our friends, right? And blue is thumb. Now, which one did I mean? Pickle, in that case. So pickle is a two. A two. Yeah, I guess I did do it. decide to do a two. F5, is that right? Yeah, A2 is F5. Okay, so we're not out of the woods on this side yet. And so... That means that our last one, purple, is the trigger. Do I have a purple? Or do I just have to use... Oh, I do have purples. Good. We'll just grab a purple wire. Things can match, and that'll be good. Sentito, yeah, electrical is just a fun... It's fun to play around with physical things. Oop, hi. I'm, I was hiding. Uh, purple is... Tri trigger. Right. And trigger is... A3. So we're not using A1 and A0, are we? No, we are. Pinky and thumb. So what's wrong there? Pinky is white. White is not hooked up yet. That's why. Ha ha ha. Um, you know what? We'll... Oh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it all. Let's do it all up. Let's do it the right way. All the way. Okay, come on. Can you get in there? Please get in there without disconnecting any of the other wires. Eh. Enter the hole. No, you're too fast. Ugh. There's just too much solder on the end of that one to get in there reliably. So let's uh, 
Let's get rid of some of that. That's what our problem is. Yeah, the best part about tinkering with electronics is that you're allowed to do it in your own home, which means no one can stop you. Come on, 300. God, I love how low temperature the solder that they use, that Thrustmaster used on these is. Okay, let's clean that tip a bit. And then just clean that. I think that's enough. I think that will be enough to get it in there. So that's all we need to do is push one in and then the other. Just, ah, oh, hell. Now there's not enough tinning on it. I done goozled my own self. Well, now we have to retin it. What we might have to do is actually just trim that wire, to be honest. I think it might be too far gone. Yep. Oh, well, we'll just not get the white wire in there for now. Because we're going to have to resolder. I think we're just going to end up resoldering these, these directly into a new Arduino. <sighs> Gray. That's the next wire we wanted to try out. Gray is a lower thumb. Lower thumb is lower thumb. Um, and gray is a color of DuPont wire that we have, but have not extracted yet. Whoop. So I'll probably have to do a real uh, matrix for the next one of these for the throttle, but that's going to be a fun one. We can, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out so much uh, right now with the software and the hardware and the matrix that... <laughs> I mean, the problem is no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to look at the schematic. Where are we at here? Gray. Gray was lower thumb. Lower thumb was A1, which is all the way over here. Okay. So, let's go back in here and have a look at our uh, software side of things and see how that works. Where's my button to go here? Goodbye, Hadimi. Okay. Oh, i got to give myself a little bit of stretch there, sorry. Yeah, uh, these, th th these are, yeah, DuPont connected wires, uh, jumpers in essence, uh, and uh, they're useful for prototype boarding and all sorts of things. It's, it's, it's great. Okay, uh, we have a... The column is 2D1, that's right. D1, that's our only column, and now our rows are legion. <laughs> Let's start with... Starting with F, escape, F4, F7, F6, F5, F 15, that, wait, that's not right, 15 seems wrong, yes, 15 was B1. So I need to swap over to that side. Okay. Uh, B1. B1. B3. B2. And B6. 
Uh, and let's go F4, F7, just to make sure those are all good. And do, 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 save sets to device. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, button times. Up, hat up does not. Hmm, something seems off here because none of the buttons are now working. Oh, maybe it's the other direction then that they need to be, uh, maybe I've got it backwards that I call them in my, in my rower backwards? Well, I mean, let's try that. In which case, uh, that probably doesn't work that way, then doesn't. Can I just can I just turn a uh, a matrix table like that? Hey, Dark Morford, it's uh, things are going good. And oh, punk rock, well, bleh, punk rock zoologist, congratulations on submitting the thesis. That's a that's a heavy uh, heavy thing. Hmm. Let's make sure that we've got the right pin there. Uh, pin two is D1. What do I got there? D1, yep, okay. Ooh. Why do the buttons up top keep getting grayed out? Um, good question. I guess just because I'm not selecting things. Uh, okay, let's see if that changes anything. It does not, okay. Restart the device? Sure, why not? Just for fun. It's back up. No trigger. So again, that's not correct. Reclick the line in the USB list. Yep, yep, it's boop. selected. Nothing there. Use the access zero button zero. That seems incorrect. Why is that incorrect? I feel like that should be okay. <laughs> Switch matrix, have fun. Yep, that's that's what we're up to. All right, let's just let's see if that does it. Uh, and then that row was uh, F four. Ah. F4, F7, F6, F5, B1, B3. Oop. Why can't I do this one? Precious. B2, B6, and that's it. Uh, and then these. I'll need to change to dashes. Okay, and then let's uh, save sets to this device. Save sets to this device. Okay. Sorry about that, friends. Okay, that, okay. So one of them works. Two. So, ow. We've got uh, up, down, left is not working, right is not working. Okay, trigger is not working. Pinky's not working, uh, but pickle is working. Okay, this. This leads me to wonder if it's uh, just... Oh, wait, yes, we start bending the uh, connections. The DuPont wires. We start getting ones that uh, were not working, suddenly working. So it could just be that this is a shitty board that I've got here. <laughs> it's not making all the connections it's supposed to. 
But I think this is a... We're well on our way to something workable. Uh, it's a gray one. <sighs> Four, five, and six, we're working. Wall, stupid breadboard. Yeah, that... Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, we'll see when we eventually... You know what? Just for fun, why the hell not? Let's uh, break out a different breadboard that I've got, which maybe should fix the issue. This one, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be pleased to know, is an experiment socket from Radio Shack. Uh, and it is brand spanking new. Emphasis on the spanking. Okay, well, it's going to be a tough work getting that ribbon cable in there, so we'll get that there in a second. And then we'll just uh, connect that over. But we'll start with the ribbon cable, because that's going to be the hardest part to get. What I should do is buy myself my own DuPont crimper. Okay, let's see if we can straighten out this purple one a bit. Get that off there. And orange, you were also having some troubles, I think, due to bendiness and too big a an end. Too large of an end. Okay. <laughs> I sh you know, I, I, I've, I've, I've asked myself, should I hold on to this as a, uh, as a piece of of memorabilia from the past and thought, no, <laughs> this doesn't matter. It's got U.S. patent uh, information on it, though. All right, uh, we should probably take you out of the land of the computer. While we're back here, let's move this over here. Let's move that down there. Okay, and... I need some forceps for this, is what I need. Okay, those are in there good and tight. Green's having itself a little holiday. Yellow is... Join the party. Orange. You glad you were able to get into the... Damn it, <laughs> Orange! You ruined your own joke. Okay, let's try that again. Yellow joins the part. Uh, yellow does not join the party. The back grips don't curl, but wrap around the insulation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, this... Uh, Love to, I'd love to put pins on this, but the only way I can see doing that is to splice the cables, which is, God, just so much more work than it's worth. You know what? Because we have to, uh, because we, it looks like we have to get some of these wires out anyway. Why don't we splice some uh, DuPont pins onto them? Mm, is that a good idea or not? Hmm. This is hard to tell. <sighs> uh, let's just try and get these in there again one more time. I'm... Hold on. Let's see if I can straighten out those wires just a bit here. That's not the right package. This one is. Oh, wait, no, I've got a better tool for this. There we go. Corey's got some pliers with some flat, non, uh, non serrated edges, so I click if I double click these wires from two separate directions that should straighten them out on the X and Y axes I just need to straighten out the ends such that they're uh oh I'm doing a bad to these 
But you know what? It's all in the service of playing video games. And that's the important thing, isn't it, folks? Well, uh, Lady Pluto, that's the purpose of this show, isn't it? Is to try stuff that we've never tried before. And I'm very excited to uh, try this out. My initial thought when, when uh, starting this out was that, oh yeah, I'm going to end up uh, making a big old key matrix. And it's got to go multi-ways. And then I realized, hey, wait, plans can change. And so we did. And now we're here. Start at the bottom. I don't think this is going to work the way I want it to. I'm very upset. Endgame setup, Mystic Man, is a joystick to to Arduino itself. Um, yeah, you think it's a... a, a, a you, you say that this is a... Uh, this seems like a unnecessary step. Well... I want to make sure it works before I actually get it uh, finalized. And you know what? I think we're just about there anyway. I am so tempted just to chop this wire and just go straight into an Arduino. You know what? I think we've got time. I think we've got time. I think, you know what? YOLO. Nothing ever, ever was... Uh... Nothing was ever lost by not just YOLOing. So here we go. This is... Uh... We can snip these as close as we need to which is about here, and then we can get some nice clean ends on the wires. Oh, man, that's that's a feel right there. The feel of no going back. But like I said, YOLO. Uh, so we're going to use a fresh Arduino for this. Crack that open. Don't need those pins on this one. We're going straight to the metal separate out some of uh, let's go move that around so it's not potentially going to get burned let's just add so I think there's some tape on here it feels like or some sort of plastic that's holding these wires together in a interesting way that I'm not used to Oh yeah, no, it's, it's, I can absolutely go back, but if I do, it'll be no longer original equipment. The wires will change, and that's... can't have that. I was thinking about that earlier. It's like, should I preserve this as a piece of Macintosh computing history? And I thought, you know what? That's something for the person who has to exec execute my estate to decide. I'm going to enjoy this thing. Okay. And the best part is, uh, if we because if we do it this way, I don't even have to pay attention to which button is connected to which because I can just uh, specify that in the in the software. We can just go ahead and use whatever of these uh, we want. So let's do that. Uh, well, before we do that, I gotta strip these wires, which this is gonna be a real B. Because I don't have a proper white wire stripper, so I gotta do the, uh, gotta do the, uh, side cutter yank. That's two that are nice and clean so far. You know what? I'm not going to bother twisting those until I'm ready to solder them. Let's separate these all the way down to here. Uh, 
wiggly bits. So many wiggly bits. Uh, what prompted me to use an MM Joy instead of roll your own Arduino solution? Because I don't know how to program C and I don't want to learn how to program C. <laughs> Uh, actually, because it seems like it's a lot more customizable, and uh, just I want to get used to it too, because it's uh, it's a good library. It's it was it's it turned out to be exactly what I needed for this particular project, and I thought, why not use what is pre-existing and build off the shoulders of giants? But yeah, that was the reason behind it. If I was looking for an excuse to learn how to program uh, microcontrollers directly. You know, probably would do that, but uh, that's not this particular program. I'm a tinker. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a programmer. If you're looking for an excellent gauge wire, small gauge wire stripper, may I recommend the PA14? You may indeed, because I am always in need of. Uh, I'm actually just in need of a good wire stripper in general. Ooh, nice. Have I made any ther any headway on my theremin project? Sadly, no. Oh, actually, no, King's Iker, I have. I've managed to find some theremin forums that had similar problems to mine, but I have not been able to... Uh, I have not done any further work on it, and I'm waiting until I can do some research on these forums again to actually get information. And then, uh, then we'll work on the theremin. Okay, one, two more here, and then I think we can start the solder process, yep. And finally, shit. I mean, it's not a huge problem, but it's not great either. There we go, okay. Everything's in here. Uh, Lee Benfield, yes, that is an Arduino Pro Micro or similar um it's whatever i think they're legit from uh universal solder but I'm not gonna check that offhand okay we don't need to tin these we can just go in blind and raw and wriggling uh what did our notes say our notes said that we have a common one on d2 is what we've chosen so let's just on d1 thing too. That is our green wire, so let's start with that one, shall we? Uh, and let's solder from the bottom up, because there are no uh, markings. Oh, yeah, we should uh, go green to D2. Through with the hole. Oh boy. This is going to get uh, difficult. Do I have anything in the way of a third hand? I do not. Okay. Hard mode it is. Let's just give these a little twist just in case. Uh, is this enough play? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Let's give it a little bit more. A little bit more. Ah, that may be too much. You know what? Now I'm never going get, to get a job with Thrustmaster. It's unfortunate, but it is true. Okay, through the hole. Uh, just hold it there. There's my, there you are, flux. Ah. <laughs> oh, FPGAs are so cool. And I want, I also would like to figure out something to do with one someday oops but where did the solder iron go there it is are you hot 
You are not hot. Make hot. I'm amazed that this thing hasn't, uh, hasn't died on us yet today. Ooh, that's an ugly... Okay, and that's on there. Uh, jeez, I think I kind of want to tin these wires just a bit. Just to make it a little easier on myself. Okay, that's one. God, that's so much tape on that. Ugh, it's ugly. Use the uh, the heat method. Okay, that's another one. Good. Get the brown one, nice and tinned up. Perfect. Because there's not much in terms of strands in these wires. Nope, that's not going to get through the hole, my friend. Okay, orange. That'll get through just fine. Yellow. Let's get you all nice and tinned up. Looking good. Uh, that just leaves blue. And a couple more. Uh, white, gray, and blue. All right. White, get out of there. Blue. And gray. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to get these in there without too much for trouble. Oop. Okay. So what do we want? Um, it's just all on one side, right? A301. It's just pushing through, right? It doesn't really matter. As long as they all get connected. A3. A2. Oh, this is always good. It's always good when, you're, uh, when your wires are small enough to go all the way through the through holes of your, your workpiece. Uh oh, and the white one got too thick. Dang it. I should probably be soldering these as they go in, actually, just because it's otherwise it's going to be mayhem. Ugh. Start with this one. Touch the pad. Get some solder. Let it do its thing. Bring the blue out a bit so its insulation is not there. Uh, get the solder ready. Touch the pad, touch the wire, and. Oops. And touch the wire, add some solder, 
let it do its thing. That one seems good too. Okay. Next up, white, which still looks too thick. Thick with solder. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, next through hole. Good. It's in there. Give it a little paint job. Boop. Take some more solder out. Give myself more space to work with. So you want probably want to be able to see this what I'm doing here. Ah, dang it. Didn't get enough on the wire itself. There we go. That's good. I suppose I should trim these as I go, too, just so that I know they're not shorting each other. I might have to break out my copy of Eve on, or not Eve Online, uh, what's that other one? Elite Dangerous, yes, I might have to break out my copy of Elite Dangerous to have some goes once I get this all put together. Whew. Herp. Oh. So it'd probably go a lot easier too if I wasn't trying to stream this whole business, but <laughs> here we are. I am extremely lucky to have this job. Thank you all for being here to help make that happen. Purple, purple. Oh, God damn it. Why am I behind my own head like that? Uh, right over here. Okay. Yes, that's what we want to do. Did I paint that one already? Let's hope so. I did. Looks good. Next up, Yero. Oops, do not spill the pot of flux. Looking good there too. All right, three more for the buttons, and then I think we might just, you know, try and uh, solder in the, because uh, why the hell not? Let's solder in the, uh, the axes too. Hit it with the flux, hit it with the heat, hit it with the solder, bam. And finally, finally, orange gets to make the scene. You know what I should have done is put a nice little shrink wrap around this, but uh, we didn't do that. We didn't do a nice job of this at all. We did a bodge job, friends. Which is fine. It's 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 gonna work. And you know what? Like I said, or like I always say, this is a let's try program. We are trying something new for the first time that we, or at least I, 
and by extension you, because you were here with me, have never done. Oh yeah, Commander Keen and, and Doom Guy. <laughs> I absolutely love internal id lore. On that line. And that's it. That's all she wrote in terms of those. Uh well, I mean, why not? Let's have a look at what our schematics need for a uh, for the axes but if i recall they were as simple as yeah hooking it up to no that's the wrong one they were as simple as hooking up to their own pins and their uh and voltage so i guess uh does anyone remember what we liked for our, oh yeah we Perfect. No, we don't have that information for what I liked for voltage. Um, what are we thinking here? I think we were thinking, well, orange and green. Green sounds good for ground, so let's go with, with uh, orange for voltage. Orange on the VCC. Can spread these out a bit more too. So much voltage in the VCC. It kinda hard being Snoop D O double G. Somewhere, some way. Keep finding analog pins nearly every single day. B, C, C. Give me them five volts of delicious, delicious direct current. Where is my pot? There it is. Boop, 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 boop. Solder, please. Soldering iron, please. Pancakes, please. Great. Okay, and now I need to find a couple of free analog pins that I'm allowed to use. Uh, access internal. Good. I can use the two. Oh, wait, I need to ground first. Which was the green? Green for ground. And then... I'm sure about that, right? Yes, yes, the, the G is commonly ground. Or at least this is common foreground. Ah, oof, okay. Uh, and then I guess we'll use, uh, I'm gonna say B4 and B5, yeah. Let's write that down. B4, B5. Okay. Let's throw those in there. B4 and B5 are the bottom two ones there. So I'll just stick it through right now. So we know where to go later. And actually, we can then we can paint the whole damn thing with the flux and just finish it. Just finish it. Touched by a flux angel. I don't even know what that means. Okay, here we go. Last three cables and then by God, we better have something workable. Or viable. That's probably too much expectation for hanging from that solder, so let's Okay. 
That's one down. The blue escaped, so we'll slip it back through. Slip it back through. Blue wants to continue to escape, so we'll solder it first. Take that. Uh, that's a good join. That too is a good join. Friends, we've uh, we've wired up a joystick, it looks like. At least everything is in there, and it appears to be uh, it appears to be cleanly set. There's no bridging that I can see. Things are pretty clean. Just trimming a bit of the excess off there. All right. Let's plug it in and see. Well, I mean, we'll have to flash it, of course, which means bridging the uh, a couple of connections there. Okay. Um, where is my bridging tool? <laughs> By which I mean a screwdriver or other form of uh, something. Will it do it? Hmm. Okay, well, um... Huh. What's the best way to... Oh, this'll do. This'll do, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, let's go back to this button here. And then firmware is what we need to do. COM7, auto start when bootloader is ready. And let's uh, bridge. Bridge, do the thing. Ah, do I have to put pins in this one too? I don't want to, but uh, wait, I have screwdrivers, that'll do. Perfect. Bridge, ground, and reset. Unless it's not even seeing it at all. In which case that would really suck because that would mean that I'd have to uh, update USB list. Device manager, what do you see? Uh, COM5. Okay, so. I need to close that window because it happened again. Other devices close. Uh, let's bring you all back here because this could be the end. So I com five there. Is, am I not doing, am I bridging the wrong connections? Is that what the problem is here? <laughs> Scroll to the top. Upload firmware. Uh, and you want me to bridge ground and reset. Yep, those are the ones. Hmm. Now, what's going on here? Let's close that. Aha, boot order is five. Boot order five, yep. Okay, so it just needs to be uh, on port five. That, not 45, five. Start boot loader, upload firmware. 
for more uploaded we have joystick okay let's go to axis uh axis is for joystick is on we said b4 b5 let us change b4 yes that is the one we want u or b5 good okay uh now we click this and we uh, save sets to device it does the reset this is good oh that's good okay next up is uh joystick button and here we uh click back up here save sets to um sets to file device hey pat welcome to the show tonight we're uh hopefully about to be incredibly successful in everything we do okay we got trigger that's good we got okay we got thumb button pickle buttons good uh pinky pinky is reporting pinky reporting in uh thumb thumb is reporting in no ghosting so far that's four buttons that's what we want up down up okay up's not working going for some reason down is left and right okay left is good rights okay right is good it's just uh it seems like a no that's down right's having some issues as is up so we'll have to look into those but down and left are good that's a creaky hat <laughs> uh yeah so those are working good uh what about the axes these were our these were our white whales and oh yeah so we got we've got okay those appear that appears to be our x that should be our x sensor I'm gonna call that x and uh y and then let's call that a auto center as well let's go zero for calibration max okay so we're we're, we're making progress but we are uh we don't have everything And then that goes back that way. Ooh, yeah, this is going to need some calibration. <laughs> ah, ah. That's coming out. That's not supposed to happen. Ah. Okay. So. So we'll just have to troubleshoot our y-axis to find out. Oh, wait. Why we haven't uh, saved the information back yet. Okay, so. Okay, so the value, the max value matters. Uh, so, let's, you know, take this to 1,000 and 1,000. Oh, no, wait. now it's not showing anything that's interesting i'm gonna have to look into the calibration uh later i guess but uh current 451 ah! hmm. set center save calibration hmm <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to figure out why this is uncalibrated as of yet but i think we are on our way like that looks good the the left and right looks real good there 
so what's the problem here then is uh, is it orange it's not orange it appears to be yellow which is not apparently all the way around that's on pin 9 which is pin 9 is B5 so B5 is I'm pretty sure that's what I've got selected for the x-axis or for the y-axis yep yep there it is huh so it might be a bad pot we'll have to look into that but it might uh, or it might be bad programming we'll find out but I think I think friends uh, if I can say we have mostly successfully done a uh, done a thing I mean let's you know what, if it's a bad wire let's uh, let's check our continuity let's see if it's let's see if that's the case because that's an easy one yellow to yellow that seems huh yellow to yellow that seems pretty good okay uh, orange to orange are you okay let's unplug that so that we don't have voltage going through it here you never want to have a bad pot <laughs> usually the case uh, I mean you know there it, I, I won't say that I'm not going to convert this thing to hall sensor hall effect sensors <sighs> friends do we find out the problem or is that just the wrong orange side that is the wrong orange that's good green okay so the Y, the, uh, yeah, the X axis is fine. The Y axis is just not having it right now for some reason. And we'll have to figure out why that is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's my ohms? What's my ohms? So considering it's, a, let's call it a 10,000. Okay. Oh yeah, no, the pot is fine. The pot is absolutely fine. Um, is it a grounding issue? Can you only have one, uh... Can you only have one per channel, per ground line? That doesn't make sense. That's not how it shows itself being wired. Uh, we should save our, our sets to the file just so we have a, uh... We have everything set properly. So it's B5. Just appears to not be getting anything uh, let's make oh hello hi 511 you exist let's uh save sets the device dress that did look to be about 10k yes Something is up here, and I wonder if it's a, I wonder if it's a bad, if I've, if it's actually bad wiring that's happened here, or a short maybe, because things are pretty dark. I don't think it's a short. It doesn't look like it's a short. Huh. <sighs> Troubleshooting will need to occur because, as it stands, currently not getting the signals we want from that. 
Are the buttons still working or are the buttons gone now too? Update USB list. Gimme. Okay, there we go. Again, those two. Oh! Oh! Okay, yep. Yeah, right and down are... Right and up are still having issues. But how about the joystick axes? Hey! We got it! Friends, we have a working joystick, mostly, other than two buttons. Check out those X and Y axes. What does Windows say? Does Windows say, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Turning and adjusting things. Successful project! <laughs> I am so happy when these things happen like that, especially when we can, and uh, that's not the right uh, one, especially when we can end a show on a success. That's, uh, cheers to us, chat. We did it. We got there. Now I just need to do it again <laughs> for this, uh, this other thing, which uh, should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on today's uh, weird little adventure through some software and learning, learning what was my y-axis problem? I think it was literally just a settings issue in the software that I didn't, I didn't properly upload for whatever reason. But now that I've got a working joystick, I can play with the software more. I can figure out more of its, uh, more of its eccentricities. And uh, then we can move on to working on the throttle, which uh, I may do uh, myself. I may, you know what, maybe I'll just hang on to that actually for, for, for future uh, TTSF because it feels like we can, uh, yeah, we can, we can work on that more. We've also got to fix the, uh, the hat switches on this joystick, but we are close to being finished and then I'll have my joysticks, my hot ass setup that I need for Star Wars Gal no Star Wars Galaxies God no Star Wars Squadrons and X-wing Squadrons Star Wars Squadron the shooty man's in space with the thing thank you Dark Morpher yes that would be uh, appreciated should I be able to get that uh, should I <laughs> run into anything and God knows I probably will um, thank you everyone for watching at home uh, thank you specifically those of you who are so kind as to give you give us our support over patreon.com slash loading ready run we super appreciate uh, allowing you to help us keep the lights on both over in the office and uh, occasionally here in the Tilty House main palatial studios uh, we also want to thank you about thank you about we want to thank you for your generous donations here at twitch.tv slash loading ready run uh, we appreciate your subscriptions we appreciate your bits and we appreciate those of you who just sit and watch us or if you're in the chat and you're chatting we appreciate that too we like having people here to do the fun things with us coming up tomorrow is i think the friday night paper fight is all it is because kathleen has finished her playthrough of uh, play it forwards tokyo mirage sessions so we'll have to find out what uh, is coming forward with that i think there might be some some valor at saturday or something kathleen's island tour returns on sunday as does rhythm cafe for what is probably going to be the final episode of distortions though i've said that before so we'll actually have to find out if that's actually the case uh and of course if you want to find out more about our schedule you can go over to loadingreadyrun.com slash live the schedule is there for checkpoint checkpoint happens you know what i'm not looking at the schedule we should all go over to loadingreadyrun.com slash live and subscribe to Paul's wonderful schedule. It'll auto-update in your own calendar or you can just check it there. If you want to find last minute changes, you can go visit us on the bad website at uh, twitter.com slash loadingreadyrun. All of our information uh, shows up there. Well, it lets you know when we're starting streams and whatnot. And of course, you can find me over at tilty.house. That's the place for all the stuff that Corey and I make ends up uh, not there, but, you know, you can find your way to it from there. Uh, that is it for me. Um, I think in two weeks' time, we've got uh, some shenanigans with an Apple 
2GS in order of upcoming Kansas Fest. So get ready for that. But that's it for me here tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in a fortnight ever forward, never learning, and sometimes actually getting stuff to work right. Good night, folks! <laughs>